Hi, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolor, and welcome to another quick video. So this one, I'm going to paint this in and out scenery, and for whatever reason, I don't have the drawing portion of the video, but I think that's okay. So basically, I start with the first wash, which is just a blue sky. I took this photo last year, vacation time in California. Being in California, in and out is something that I must do. So I enjoy my burger and I walked out and I saw that is actually a very good scenery. So I took a photo, but I recomposed the photo quite a bit. So as you can see, I cropped out the left and the bottom of the photo and I rearranged the palm tree a little bit. I took out the parking cars on the right and I added the figures. So after the background is dry, I start to paint the background palm trees. It is California, so there's always a bunch of palm trees around. So you might notice that I make the background palm tree taller, actually taller than the buildings. In the photo, you'll probably see that the array of the palm trees are actually a little bit lower than the buildings. And I kind of want to change that. I want the palm tree to be higher than the buildings. It just feels a little bit more exciting scale-wise. So I believe it is important for an artist able to take the reference that they see and have their own spin on it. So even though I'm not painting exactly as the reference, I'm able to change few things here and there for my own painting, but at the same time, still faithful to the subject that I'm painting. Now, obviously, I'm not going to change in and out into McDonald's or anything like that. This is still a painting about my favorite burger place in California, so that's going to be that. After the background trees, I'm starting to paint the buildings from left from right to left. I try to preserve the highlight for the figures and the cars. So this is a little bit different than my last quickie video. Last quickie video is all about atmosphere. So I'm doing a lot of big washes with huge shaped trees and things like that. And everything connects together. This one, because there's such a distinct lighting, I have to do it a little bit more session by session. Now, if I will do this again, I'll probably connect some of the shape a little bit more, but I still like how this painting turns out. And that's the thing about watercolor, like no two paintings are exactly alike. So I might paint this painting again in the future, who knows? I actually quite like painting palm trees. I don't usually like to paint trees because it's pretty tedious, but palm trees are fun to paint for me. And it's really important that I keep the light of the building so when I put the cast shadow in, it really feels the light is popping up. And it is also very important that the cast shadow should follow in the shape of the building. I even just slightly a little bit hint of that, I think is very important so that it enhances the form. Start painting the figure. So what the guy on the left is wearing a uh, short pant his partner on the right wearing this striped shirt. I sort of just make it up so that it feels like California-ish. Painting that car next to the building. Keep the right side light because the light is coming from the right. And I paint this guy in the middle who is dealing with the drive-thru. So if you've been to In-N-Out and you've been to their drive-thru, you know that there's usually one person outside taking your order before you actually drive into it just to speed up the process. I don't know how much faster that actually speeds things up, but in terms of painting, I think that makes a very interesting element to paint. So you're painting the car and the figures, 
So instead of a bunch of cars parking on the right, I have a bunch of cars lining up to go to the drive through to get the burger. I think that just tells a lot more story than a static parking lot. And notice the card that I put some shadows and reflection of the palm trees. Just a little bit touch of that. Just make the painting more believable. So I also changed the height of the street lamp. I feel making it shorter sits a little bit better in the painting instead of and the middle ground palm tree. So I arranged the palm tree a little bit differently. In the photo, they're kind of crisscrossing each other for some reason. I find that doesn't work that well for my painting, so I changed one of the palm tree to go straight up. So it kind of framed the painting nicely. So one palm tree going up off the frame and the other one tilts to the left that leads your eyes back into the subject. I'm just adding some shadows in the foreground, some palm trees off the side. So I'm just adding details, adding some dark and the painting is rapidly taking form. And now I'm glazing over the ground just to make it a little bit darker. And there we have it. I hope you enjoy that. I certainly want an in and out burger now, but I live in Washington, so I guess I need to find something else to eat tonight. <laughs>